words sometimes help us heal our painful feelings. SEAL, or the Social and Emotional Aspects of Learning, is a set of resources so, available really free to out. schools from the DFES. The it seems to be popular and its aims to develop the underpinning feelings. qualities and skills that help promote positive behaviour and effective learning are certainly worth achieving. But are there any lessons from schools already using it that can help make the most of this resource? Staff from West Drayton Primary School shared their experience of using it. We introduced SEAL initially in one year group and we ended up getting some enthusiasm going and other teachers saying that they wanted to have a go themselves. We pulled the whole staff together again and we, we ran some training with everybody there. We didn't monitor very carefully, we just said have a go. Um, this is the thing we want you to go with, have a try. And we actually gave them some planning time, which is vitally important. Today's assembly is going to be about our relationships and how we get on with other people. Especially Joanna believes it's useful to utilise the SEAL assemblies for introducing and closing half-termly themes. These themes match the structure of the academic year. The children return to the same theme each year as they grow up. So they will come back to the new beginnings theme when they're in nursery, the when they're in reception, right the way through till their year six. So they are building on what they've already learned. Some schools might decide that they don't want to adopt all of SEAL, but there would be some resources, some stories, some of the picture cards, some of the resources from the internet, which they may well be able to adapt into their PSHE scheme. When you first look at the SEAL material, you might think that there's an awful lot there for you to get hold of and understand. Once you start to break it down into the themes and you encourage the teachers just to look at the booklet that they're going to be working from, it's much more manageable. We actually ended up um, designing some folders and being able to share the booklets out across the schools. Right, what we're going to do today is we're going to imagine we are not in the school's conservation area. Year two teacher Rachel Howard integrates SEAL with literacy, working on the skills of empathy and emotional awareness. And we're going to think about what those animals might feel like living here. If I was advising um, another year two teacher on how they could get started, I would say to prepare yourself so that you know you break it down into weeks because the booklet actually sets out a whole um, scheme of work for the children for a half term. My approach to SEAL is very much a mixed one. I tend to teach it as a separate PHSE lesson and then I also integrate it into my other lessons. So it could be if it's about teamwork, I build it into a science or um, a history lesson where the children will be working as a group and building up their skills. Um, I've got a very mixed ability class of year two children and um, they're all very, very different and different levels of uh, vocabulary. It really does range. They all have been able to make progress in terms of communicating their feelings, all of them. As the year two children then progress through the school, having a, a good foundation in their um, understanding of themselves and others and an appreciation and an awareness of other people around them they're going to be much happier individuals. They're just going to be able to get along with people and have strategies to solve the problems that they face when they go th into another class. SEAL as a standalone um, scheme for one class really isn't going to be very beneficial because the children will learn all these great skills and how to tackle different things and then they'll move on to the next class and they won't be using them and building on them. So it's really, really important, I feel, that they do um, it's a progressive scheme that goes through the whole school. Dear Brandon, I'm writing to you because some freaky, crazy class who call themselves the monkeys have captured me. And everyone... It fits in really well with our values because we're teaching children to learn um, to be confident about themselves and about their environment and about how to deal with other people and issues that may arise in their lives and how to tackle these things. A time that I felt embarrassed was when I was at school a few years ago. Year 5 um, teacher, Richard Daniels, teaches SEAL during circle time. I, and I tried to spell a word that I thought I knew, 
and I got it wrong and all the people in my class laughed at me and I felt really embarrassed when that happened. I use SEAL in the classroom by following the, uh, the weekly lesson plans that are in place in the SEAL booklets and I run it as a separate lesson rather than doing it integrated into lessons. I found that the SEAL materials were very relevant for the Year 5 children that I'm teaching. Um, the first topic that we did was getting new beginnings and getting to know one another and there were lots of new children in the class at the beginning of the year and uh, we did lots of activities where the children got to know each other and play with each other and work with each other and that was a good icebreaker at the beginning of the year. Who'd like to start off with some of the stretch they've got? Playing with them so they forget what they're, what they've done. Excellent. So you're going to take their mind off feeling embarrassed and you're going to make them feel better by just doing something else with them. Good girl. Um, Luke. Like, if you like, make a joke of it. Excellent. Now we have to be careful with that one, don't we? Because we don't want to embarrass them even more. We want to include them in the joke so they feel like, oh, that's fine, everybody does it, I'm just going to be part of the joke, we're all going to have a laugh together. One of the biggest changes that I've seen through using this scheme, and especially in boys, is um, the strategies that they have to calm down in, in difficult situations, whether it be in class or on the playground. We covered that quite extensively and the, and the class really enjoyed the work we did on it. And now I've noticed when the boys are playing football or if they're getting upset in class because they can't do the work, they can, they can, they notice the triggers in themselves, they feel themselves getting worked up and they use some of the strategies that we discussed in class in the SEAL work to calm themselves down. When I was playing with my friends, if you're friends and you can laugh a lot out, then you could take your time out and you can talk to each other. We go. Another topic that I found very useful was the getting on and falling out because I found that particularly with year five girls they tend to have fallouts and make best friends from one day to the next and that topic gave them lots of strategies on how to deal with those issues on the playground and so that they could solve them themselves and not have to come to me with their, with their friendship issues so much. Our next word is reproduce. Oh. Reproduce. Oh, Amanda's finished. Life process. Well done, Amanda. I think from a time perspective, it's vitally important that I can try and link SEAL in with curriculum subjects wherever possible. Would someone else like to help? I think the integration does work very well, that the links between um, the vocabulary from SEAL and most curriculum areas, it does take a bit of work sometimes. You really do have to Think very carefully at the start in your planning how you are going to link that vocabulary with a particular curriculum area. But it, it does benefit the children's use of language, very much so. So who would like to explain to me what disbelief means? If, like, if someone in your family or a close friend has passed away, like, you won't believe it that they've passed away because like, you're so close to them. Well done. It's very important to establish the words that we're going to be using in SEAL um, at the very start of the topic. I use word bingo quite often at the start of topics with the children. Um, one, they, they find it um, very good fun and they actually don't realise that they're learning all of these new words. And when I then ask them, um, if they, what do they understand from these particular words? It's interesting for me to see where they are at with regard to their understanding of particular words. I was very sad when Grandad died, but I knew he had a good life and he was very old and very ill. When I integrate SEAL with other subjects, for instance science um, and life processes, that's knowledge that the children have to learn. Um, those seven life processes of all living things. You have had a permanent loss. You should talk or share your, feeling to, your feelings to someone close to you. If you feel like crying, you should. Giving them that vocabulary, being able to empathise with those various different aspects of the life processes and the life cycle enables them to, to get an understanding that, that otherwise they maybe wouldn't have got just from the science angle and, and they really value that understanding. It helps them, I believe, in their personal life. They're all going to lose people that are special to them in their life and it's a fantastic opportunity to, to, to gain that understanding, to empathise um, through a subject. Let's have a look. Oh.
Bertie. I do have Bertie. Bertie's here. Good, let's put Bertie there on the ground. The we'll key thing about minute. SEAL is developing those social skills. And, and if the children get it right in nursery, then they'll set up for the rest of their life. Oh, look at Teddy's face. Nursery children have the basic social skills when they come into nursery. They've played alongside other children already. They're starting to work out how that works. But we're just extending those skills. So building on the sharing, the taking turns, what words they can use to, to help their plays, such as stop it, I don't like it, or um, can I have a turn? Those kind of concepts that they might not have had to use at home before. Teddy, why were you sad today? SEAL is useful in teaching those social skills because it's given me some new ideas as well, then, things that I just Teddy take for granted that the children may already know. So I've never had a curriculum for teaching PSHE before and so to have something so structured to work through that's all been laid out has just made it so easy. Chloe, I guess the children would have learnt those skills Come in on. time but this has just brought it to their attention a lot earlier. A These are skills that they might not have picked up until they were seven or eight. <gasps> no! Stop it, I don't like it. Wow, what good talking, Killies. That is just what Teddy should have done. Having taught it, you can what see progress well and you can Thanks. see you that the children are really responding to it. On, Ken, and their play on. is better be as a result. Now you're teaching the whole class the same concept at the same time. So they have an understanding of fear and they've all learnt it together so they know what to expect from other children. And when they hear the phrase, stop it, I don't like it, they all know the appropriate response. We recognise when working with nursery children that it works best if we're working alongside the parents as well. So educating the parents on, on the strategies that we're using in school so it can be reinforced at home. So I've done that by putting our objectives in the window so when, children, when parents come to drop off their children, they see those objectives and they know what to work on. And I can see that that's making a difference. And I can hear parents using phrases that I use in the classroom. Also, we've started setting up some parent support groups, parent training groups to teach some of those ideas. The parent groups are run by BEST, or the Behaviour Education and Support Team, from the school's excellence cluster. Uh -huh. So can you think of any other uh, important needs that all human beings have? Well, I think interact and communicate with other ones, with okay. other persons. Interacting, communicating with other people. The parent groups help develop social and emotional skills in the adults, which then in turn gets passed on to the children which we can see the difference in at school, so in the end we all benefit. My advice is, is don't get too caught up in the following seal exactly how it is. Use resources and props that you've got in the nursery already. Um, the puppets I've used aren't particularly glamorous, but the children already knew them prior to using seal. They were familiar with them, they liked them, so I just used them to teach the, teach the subjects. And I don't always follow the booklet just to the right order that it prescribes. If something else comes up, I'll jump ahead or I'll skip back, maybe repeat a lesson that I've already done just because they needed reinforcing. Use your own ideas, use your own style, your own words to teach it in a way that your children are going to, going to value it.